Donald Trump now backing off his push for raising the minimum age for certain gun purchases in the U.S., even though he called for that very measure repeatedly in the wake of the Florida school shooting. And now there's criticism that the president is caving to pressure from the National Rifle Association. So what's the response from the White House? Well, here's an exchange between a reporter and White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. On guns, uh, the president here in the White House met with six students from Parkland, Florida, and said specifically that he would go strong on the age limits. And this proposal doesn't have the president stepping forward and demanding action from Congress on those age limits. Why is the president backing away from that promise to those six students that he would go strong on gun? gun? I guess I don't know how many times I can explain the same thing. The president uh, still supports this. That's why it's in his plan. And he is looking at and reviewing the best path forward to try to get it through. But at the same time, he is making strong. sure that the things that we can do right now, we're actually doing. Instead of holding everything back until we can get some of those other pieces done. The Trump administration's new plan to keep schools safe includes training teachers to carry guns, encouraging veterans to work in schools and improving background and mental health checks. But the checks would not apply to those buying firearms at gun shows or over the internet. As for raising the legal age to buy rifles to 21 from 18, Trump used to be all for it. Does it make sense that I have to wait till I'm 21 to get a handgun, but I can get this weapon at 18? I don't know. So I was just curious as to what you did in your bill. We, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't address it, Mr. President. Well, I think you know we, why? Because you're afraid of the NRA, right? <laughs> but today, the president backtracking, tweeting on 18 to 21 age limits, watching court cases and rulings before acting. States are making this decision. Things are moving rapidly on this, but not much political support, to put it mildly. The 19 year old suspect in the Parkland school shooting legally purchased this semi automatic rifle allegedly used in the attack that left 17 people dead and sparked a student-led movement for gun reform. In a statement, House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi says, the families and students suffering from the heartbreak of gun violence deserve real leadership, not a White House that cravenly tiptoes around the NRA. Just how much pressure is there to abandon a push to raise the minimum age limit? We should work together to make our schools safe for our kids. On Friday, Florida Governor Rick Scott signed into law a gun control law which raises the legal age for buying rifles to 21. Now the NRA is suing the state of Florida, saying the bill violates the U.S. Constitution. Looking ahead to tomorrow, Donald Trump visiting California, a state he did not win in the presidential election. While he's there, he's going to be checking out prototypes for the border wall.